Hey, what's up, world? Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, the whole world. On this episode of Relationship Goals, with me, the one and only person you probably don't know. I want to talk about trust. No, trust can be a very complicated thing, but look, don't worry about it. I'll break it down for you real quick. When it comes to a relationship, one of the first things people should be thinking about <clears throat> is the type of person they're picking. Now, some people will get cheated on, or some dudes specifically. I'm a dude from a guy's perspective. So they'll be like, well, where'd you meet that girl? Oh, I met her in a bar. Met her at a strip club. And then everybody goes, oh, that's why. Look where you met her at. Well, it's not exactly true because all kind of dudes go to strip clubs. I've been to strip clubs. I never cheated on a girl in my life. So it doesn't necessarily make it a deal breaker or the reason why. But it does play a part. For example, if you're living a certain lifestyle and um, your lifestyle consists of certain things that you just do on a regular because that's the way you live your life. You know, some people have lifestyles such as being a drug dealer or being a businessman. Same thing, making money, just opposite sides of the law. Nowadays, they're both on the wrong side of the law as far as fraud, things of that nature. But anyway, but um, so you look at a person not for what they have but for this the point in time they are in their life so if you go and you find a stripper at the strip club and you marry her no man in his right mind is gonna say well she has to completely do a 180 because a ring is on her finger Depending on how long she's been stripping and how long she's been living the lifestyle, you don't know if she's the type of stripper that also does prostitution. You don't know if she's the type of stripper that abuses drugs so she doesn't have to think about the fact that she's on a pole because no girl should ever have to do that. Or on the flip side, a guy, you know, you, you, don't, you don't expect him to put his guns away and not be paranoid and da 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 everything that comes with being a gangbanger or a drug dealer, whatever. So these parts, these things in life on many different levels, those are some of the extremes of it. But as far as just the average person that even goes to work regularly, they can still run around and be promiscuous and things of that nature. Just because you meet someone, you can't expect them if they're living a certain way and they go by a certain schedule and they have certain things that they do and they do and it's woven into who they are as a person you can't expect them to do a 180 that's not how people work that's not how life works it doesn't change overnight so if you already got trust issues and you come into a situation where you meet a person and you're like oh I'm attracted to that person this person has good enough conversation to hold my attention for right now and it's been a few weeks or it's been a month or it's been a few months so that means that we good no because while y'all just quote unquote talking that person could be doing whatever they want to do because they're not obligated to you it's no labels so even though they acting right within that time being once you put the label on it then you start looking deeper into that, who that person is and things that they do and keeping closer tabs on them and the closer you keep tabs on them the more and more you see the things they do every every single day and you really get to see how they live in their life can't go about things like stuff is just gonna happen out of nowhere it takes time with people some people might meet a person and say man this person is like nobody i ever met Maybe I should change how I'm living if I want to be with a person like that. But if the other person is like, oh, I already am who I am, so 
this person to just change right for me. No, nah, because if you think like that, then you're going to be like, well, just because I know them, they're going to do right. So as soon as they do wrong, what's going to happen? You're going to be salty as shit. You're going to be salty. So when it comes to trust, I don't want to say it's not necessary, but you shouldn't expect yourself to trust a person or for a person to be trustworthy until they say to themselves that they want to be in that position to be trustworthy. I know it sounds a little crazy, but if you think about it, it makes sense. Communication. If you communicate, hey, I want this to be real. What you going to do? You only one or two answers. You'll be like, well, I don't, I'm not sure. If they hit you with I'm not sure, keep it moving. They not ready. If they not ready, let them be. So what if you like them and this and that? Don't make it worse. If they not ready, let them go. Because if you don't, you're going to stress yourself out. And it happens on both sides. And then that's when it starts getting petty. Sending screenshots and shit you're doing on social media and stuff like that. I'm not with all of that. You can't be with all of that because it just makes it worse. And something you could have had with someone that could have been real good for you, you squandered it. You threw a monkey wrench in it. Could have been something in the process if you would have just been patient. So that's just my message for this Sunday, man. When it comes to trust, man, it's communication. It's communication. When you download an app, it actually, if you want to accept terms and conditions, does it not? Because companies know better than anyone else that communication matters. They don't care if you read it or not. They want to make sure they got their part done. But when it comes to a relationship with two people, both of y'all have to do y'all part. And if that other party decides that they don't want to sign that contract that you laid on the table with them, you know they ain't ready. You know it ain't going to be good. You know they don't want to be faithful. You know they don't want to be obligated. Maybe not the one person at least. And that's life. That's why we got legs. Some people don't, unfortunately. But that's why we have the ability to walk away before it's too late. <laughs> Happy Sunday, man.